Well, all eyes are on the nation's capital this noon as the Supreme Court begins two days of landmark hearings. Yeah, the justices are discussing same-sex marriage and whether voter-approved bans are constitutional. We're covering all angles of this story today. We begin with John Gonzalez, who is live in the middle of it all outside the Supreme Court. John. Well, after 80 minutes of arguments, it is clear that the U.S. Supreme Court is not sure exactly what to do here, whether to uphold or strike down Proposition 8. Out here for hours and for days, hundreds have been gathered, and they are speaking right now for and against their beliefs. The fight over same-sex marriage has taken center stage as the U.S. Supreme Court begins hearing two historic cases outside an emotional crowd clearly divided. You have a crowd out here uh, of diverse individuals, Republicans, Democrats, faith leaders saying it's time for marriage. In front of the highest court, those in support of marriage equality have the help of some star and political power today. Well, I'm proud to represent a city that didn't need the Supreme Court to tell them that all marriages are equal under the law and under God. Supreme Court police started giving out the highly coveted tickets early this morning. Ticket one went to film director and gay rights advocate Rob Reiner. When the founding fathers started this country, they said that every, everyone should be treated equally under the law. 19 numbers down the line. It is so emotional for me, I can't begin to tell you. The original plaintiffs from California on the Prop 8 case. It's come full circle um, since we started it. Or at the, Cal you know, at the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> this is this is big. The justices will consider the federal law that prevents legally married couples from receiving a range of federal benefits. Deliberating will take months. The court will start asking questions almost immediately of both lawyers and it won't stop. 30 states currently ban same-sex marriage in their state constitutions, while 10 states bar them under state law. One side here clearly hoping to change that. Hopefully we'll realize that dream. And it appears this afternoon that Justice Anthony Kennedy, a conservative, will be the swing vote here. And he has already expressed concerns today about striking down Proposition 8. Now, hundreds, thousands have gathered here, thousands of those who support same-sex equality, those who have been marching to uphold the Proposition 8 law. Well, they've been marching from the National Mall. Here to tell us a little bit more about that, Breanne Carter. Well, John, here along the National Mall, these thousands of people gathered, also keeping a very close eye on what's happening there just down the block at the Supreme Court. As you can see here, thousands attending a rally that began a little over an hour ago, where many of these people talking about the definition of marriage between one man and one woman. These thousands of people that have traveled near and far from across the country, and even many from our area, marched earlier this morning down to the Supreme Court. They said they wanted to be outside while that case was going on and the justices were listening in on each side. They have now come back here to the National Mall and many say it is not just about same-sex couples. It is also about the impact the definition of marriage will have on children. A lot of people talking about the definition of marriage on shirts, on posters as they line here on the National Mall. It is a number of religious groups and others that have gathered here today. They too have been watching closely what's been happening there at the Supreme Court, they will certainly be keeping a close eye to see what happens when the justices make a ruling. Reporting live on the National Mall, Breanne Carter, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Breanne, and thank you, John. We'll be following the Supreme Court hearings as they unfold. You can get the latest anytime on our website, WJLA.com. And we will also have continued coverage tonight, beginning right here on ABC 7 News at 5 o'clock.